hey, if a tree falls in the forest and no one hears it, does it make a sound? I think the similar thing could be, if you do an April Fool's joke and no one notices, is it funny? Well, it's funny to me. Uh, earlier this week, Sam, Z, and myself posted a list of our top 10 obscure games. In that list, we listed games that a lot of people, I guess, haven't heard of. We figured people would have heard most of them. But what we decided to do, because I thought it would be funny, was on each of our lists to put one game that was completely made up, that had nothing to do with anything else. And so on each of our lists, we made that up. Now, Sam actually forgot to make his up and made his up almost on the spot, which I was impressed because he put a lot of thought into it. His was Goal, which had four O's and three L's, I believe. Um, a soccer game which combined moving around the field and dexterity shooting at the, the goals. Z's was Lice Shower, which was a silly dexterity game that was played in the dark, he said. And he, the reason he picked the name Lice Shower was because it rhymed with Dice Tower. And we wondered if anybody would notice that. And Z said, is that too obvious? Obvious? Well, the answer is obviously not. And mine was Assault on Ganymede. And the reason I picked that for mine is because it's the game I wanted to play as a kid. A big space game uh, of them moving spaceships around and attacking other people. That's a game I would love. Uh, now, with the help of Board Game Geek, Scott Alden, I asked him if I could post uh, game entries. And I don't know if they'll be up or down. We're going to take them down eventually on Board Game Geek. But I got a lot of, I got several people who I went on uh, chat one morning and said, would you be interested in rating these games for the fun of it? So there's funny ratings there. And it's hilarious, I think, when I read the comments, because they talk about a game that no one knows that exists. And they all say different things about it. So if you don't like April Fool's jokes, I'm sorry. And if you really were interested in those games, I'm sorry, those three don't exist. But the other nine games on the top 10 obscure games do exist. And so, anyway, April Fool's, I guess. Uh, uh, even though no one noticed. Oh, I guess we fooled you then. But anyway, uh, we won't be doing this very often in the future. Our next top 10 list will actually be top 10 games that murdered other games or replaced other games. So that will be coming out probably next week. Anyway, until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been fooled by the Dice Tower.